October 24, 1998, Tropical Depression Mitch was upgraded to Hurricane Mitch. With an erratic path that varied in direction and intensity, it quickly became one of the most destructive hurricanes ever to hit the Western Hemisphere. The toll on human lives was substantial. By first assessment, there were more than 10,000 recorded deaths and over three quarters of a million evacuees. The widespread devastation at every social, economic, and political level meant that over 20 years of development had been wiped out for the entire region, and most directly, for the nations of Nicaragua and Honduras. Mitch's impact across the region underscored the pressing need for sustainable development policies that would address poverty alleviation and social equity with well-integrated disaster management components. Once the magnitude of this problem became apparent, the government of the Honduras and Nicaragua established emergency structures to oversee national response, and they requested urgent assistance from the international community. It is in response to this international appeal that students, representing governments, the United Nations, and non-governmental organizations, meet in the virtual peace simulation. As part of the simulation, students will be responsible for providing and coordinating aid for the two countries hardest hit, the Honduras and Nicaragua. Students will research background information of the scenario in order to represent one of 16 different historical organizations, including the United Nations Development Program, Doctors Without Borders, the Office of Foreign Affairs for Nicaragua, the World Food Program, USAID, and the World Health Organization. Together, they will be responsible for navigating the challenges and pathways to effective response. Each student will assume his or her role as an avatar designed to look like actual persons in the international aid community. They will talk via voice and text channels within the game space, which is designed to look like the real venues where these representatives might convene. Students will present their views to the group at large and then break out into smaller groups for planning and negotiations. In addition to allowing students to use real-life diplomatic and conflict-resolving skills, the simulation will allow the educators and students in the after-action review to pull up bookmarked events for use as teachable moments. Together, they can assess whether important goals were met, if students properly represented the values and practices of their government or organization, and how they could work more effectively in the future. By extending to educators the multi-sensory nature of the digital medium, virtual peace becomes much more than just an extension of a role-playing exercise. Ultimately, it is a state-of-the-art interdisciplinary platform for creative learning, uniting the technology of the future and the experiences of the past.